So when you order a glass of wine, you may ask for a Pinot or a Riesling or whatever your favorite is. Yeah. I've never thought about mixing them. Never in my life. It's a thing, apparently. Yeah, you see live Cheryl Bray Boys live this morning at Hidden Wine at the Ritz Carlton, which sounds very fancy, Cheryl. And it looks like, like you said, a science experiment in front of you. It really does look like a science experience, but that's what makes me so excited about this. We are actually doing the wine blending experience here at the Ritz Carlton, and we're joined by an expert. Alex Cross is a sommelier here at the Ritz. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you as well, Cheryl. Thanks for coming in. Okay, so Kristen and I, Mary, were talking this morning, and they wanted to know why in the world would you blend wine? Because doesn't it come already perfect? Absolutely, it does. Some of the best wines in the entire world are mostly blends. Believe they're, it or not. So they're blends already in the bottle in some cases. Absolutely. Even your Napa Valley Cabernets, which most people are probably familiar with, generally they're blends. Under California state law, you only have to have 75% Cabernet Sauvignon to put Cabernet Sauvignon on the bottle. Okay. So more times than not, most of these great wines you're drinking are blended. Different grape varietals. Wow, okay. Absolutely. So what we're offering for the summer is the chance for folks to blend their own wines with your expertise, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We're doing a summer blend today. A lot of times people think about the whites when they're talking summer blends. We're doing some reds today. Yeah, we're going to do a nice red blend. It's called Cote de Rhone. It's a blend of French red wines from Rhone Valley, France. Today we are going to use Syrah and Grenache. Mostly Grenache, okay. being that we're gearing up for the summer months. Grenache is driven with lots of red fruits. It's very smooth, mm. very relaxed, very easy going, and it's great chilled. Okay, all right, well, so let's go. I'm going to be a mad scientist this morning, Alex. What do I need to do? Please do. <laughs> Start with this Grenache. Okay, this is the Grenache. And you will want to put it right into this beaker here. Okay, this really is fun. It is like being at the chemistry lab in high school but better, better result at the end. Am I pouring the whole thing? Yeah, go ahead and pour okay. the whole thing. Pouring the whole thing in there. Wow. So this was the easy one. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit of Syrah to this blend okay. to give the wine a little more depth and a ah. little more nuance. When you say depth, what does that mean? Depth is a little more, compl a little more complexity in the wine. Okay. So this one, we're gonna go right up to the gray dot here. Okay. So we're going to add a little more complexity, a little show more me, nuance to the wine. Show me where that dot Your is. Your red dot's right here. Okay. Yes. So it's on right here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I was okay at chemistry, I have to say, Alex. I wasn't the Our best. Our guests are always welcome <laughs> to get hands-on with this. You're always welcome to let a professional do it. It's totally <laughs> yeah. up to you. It's totally okay. up to you. All right. But well, I like people who are willing to jump off the deep end. Well, so take that's some fantastic. courage. You did great. Thank you. You did great. Thank you. you. Did great. All right, now what do we do? So the next step is to get this thing into a bottle. Oh. Oh, so they get to make their own bottle literally to take So home. we're going to give you a bottle to take home. You're going to get to taste the individual grape varietals to give you an idea of how much of each grape you want in your blend. Oh. Maybe you really love Syrah and maybe Grenache is just okay for you. Oh. In which case we can okay. make a Syrah heavy blend. We only have 90 seconds left. Okay, so what sure. am I, does it matter which one? Yeah, goes go first? ahead. Dump it in. All right, we're jumping in. Oh, this is fun. This would be a great date night. And the wine's excellent too. And being able to taste the different grape varieties by themselves uh -huh. and then taste it when after they're all put together, okay. it's very fascinating. Oh my goodness. All right, you've been doing this for a while? I've been around wine for the past five or six years. All right, good deal. Okay, so there's our blend. We have one minute left. Did we want to taste this real quick? I, would, I just kind of want to taste it real quick. Can I grab one of those? I know. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's nice. It's, it's nice and light and fruity and Absolutely. summery for sure. Absolutely. I love this Chill idea. Chill it down a little bit. Chill it in the fridge for a half okay. an hour and have a good time. With good deal. It. Yeah. We're going to take a walk here. The Hidden Wine Cellar. <laughs> experience, right? Yeah, this is our, our uh, hotel lobby retail wine shop. Okay. Of course, it's available to all of our guests staying in the hotel, but it's also available to all the people traveling through uptown. So very small footprint, highly curated list. Bottles are starting at around $30, so there's really something in here for everyone, and the mm -hmm. prices go up from there. Behind us, we have lots of Pinot Noir, yeah. different red blends from California, Cabernets, very cool. Then over here, I just want to try this out real quick. What is this real fast? We have like 10 seconds. So this is our tasting machine. On this tasting machine, we have about eight different wines here. You're able to come in and try the wines before you decide to buy them. 
And most of the stuff that's up here are going to be things that maybe you weren't looking for. Tell me the range of the prices on the bottles here. So Forever Summer, $20 bottle. Probably the most expensive bottle up here is this Mary Edwards Pinot Noir, which goes for about $90. Forever Summer, mm. French Rosé for the wonderful Cheryl. Oh, thank you, Alex. Mm. That is nice. That is a nice, refreshing, summery wine. Alex, thank you so much. My pleasure. Cheers, guys. Mary Kristen, back to you. Cheryl, what's the most expensive bottle in that room? Ask him real quick. The most expensive bottle, was that the one you were talking about? No, in the room. That's just in on a room. tasting machine. In the room. Oh, in the most, room. In our the most room. expensive bottle in the room is probably about just under $1,000. That's what Whoa. I thought. It comes from <laughs> okay. Napa Valley. Imagine that. Okay, right? It's just a regular Saturday night out. <laughs> <laughs> For somebody, Michael Jordan maybe. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs>